Rama Bible College offers great part-time certificate, diploma, and bachelor's courses in Bible and theology on Thursday evenings and Saturday mornings. We also offer part-time and full-time masters in Bible and theology for pastors, Christian leaders, and serious Christians. In addition, there is also the School of Prophecy and Ministry offering certificate in prophetic ministries, certificate in Christian ministry via our on-demand seminars with programs accredited by renowned accreditation agencies in the USA. Rama Bible College offers moderate fees payable on a monthly basis, experienced and academically qualified spirit-filled faculty. So please contact Dr. Richard Oswald Kami on 0208-514-7162 or 7983 or visit www.ramabiblecollege.org. 20 years ago, about 31 years ago, one afternoon I had a voice from heaven, audible. Now some of us who have been, uh, you know, so, you know, and that with this prophetic gift, we hear and see things. And like I said, there's not everything we can share, but I had a wonderful voice one afternoon and said, I'm calling as a prophet to the nations. And God, when the Lord spoke so many other things which I cannot share. Uh, if I go back to 1975, I don't want to go elaborate on that, but uh, I believe I had an encounter with the Lord taken to heaven. And it, I saw heaven, my eyes open. I saw hell with my eyes open. And Jesus spoke to me. I heard his voice audibly. He said so many things. And, uh, and I believe that this, this, the, the things we're seeing today is the beginning of the birthing of that call that comes, that came many, many, many years ago. Now the Lord commissioned me and he told me that I would do three things. Apart from the Bible school, he said, number one, he said, you will go to the nations and teach on prophecy and prophets. Two, you will demonstrate the prophetic gifts. And, and three, you will activate prophetic ministry. That was, my assignment is to raise prophets and raise Christian leaders. The young, young pastors were coming up. My assignment is to give them the environment to, to flourish, to be equipped, to be trained, so that they can go ahead and fulfill their destiny. That's why I stand here today to share this vision, vision with you. And that's what we're seeing very witness in this very first graduation of Rama Bible College. Rama Bible College, I believe, is a Catholic institution. And it's a, an institution that marries the academic and the spiritual. Because one thing I know from the scripture is that if you take one out, then there will be corruption. If you take away the word and, the, and rely only on the spirit, there will be corruption. If you stand only on the spirit, if you, in other words, if you go only on the word and you, 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 you cut out the spirit, you, there will still be a corruption. The two must always come together. The time that when I watched the, the talking point program in Ghana, way back in Ghana, and it was the Archbishop of the Roman Catholic Church the head of the Hamadiyya movement, Lord Wahab, and then who were, and let me say, an equally <laughs> yoked with a Pentecostal pastor. And they were speaking obviously about Christianity, but it was very embarrassing for us Pentecostals on that day. The Archbishop spoke eloquently, spoke very well, he knew his facts. The Islamic leader also spoke very well. He knew his facts about Christianity as well. But incidentally, the charismatic pastor was seriously found wanting. Not in like on the pastor himself, but on the entire charismatic and Pentecostal uh, group. From that point in time, I decided that, well, I mean, if we really want to be able to match with these historic churches. We need to be able to, you know, not just shout and etc. But we need to study to be able to defend and intelligently, intelligently, and reasonably presents the gospel that we believe in.
Well, good evening. It's Saturday and we're live. So I guess this must be, must be Saturday Night Live. Good to see you. And uh, I know you're going to enjoy this program that we've got coming on tonight. Uh, special guest in the studio tonight for the next hour is uh, a gentleman that I think you'll enjoy. Uh, you'll enjoy his ministry and uh, he has some great things to say about uh, 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 that will teach you about uh, the prophetic, about uh, attending Bible college. Uh, he's a wonderful man of God. I've only just met him. His name is Richard Oswald Comey, Dr. Richard Oswald Comey. God bless you, sir. Thank you very much. It's good to be. It's good that you were able to make it. Yes. I know there was a bit of a struggle. <laughs> yes, we thank God. Yeah. Well, praise God, you got here praise just God. in time. So yes. we, and we were just watching a little clip of your ministry, That's right. which seems very fresh and very vibrant, I must say. Yeah. Uh, Dr. Uh, Richard, let's start by getting a bit of background about okay. you, where, where you're from, and, and just give us a, a bit of a, a bit of a taste of yeah. who you are. All right. Um, um, I'll talk about my Christian background, my experience uh, with yes. the Lord. Uh, mm -hmm. I, I would say that in 1972, mm -hmm. when I was in secondary school, high school, I joined what they call the Scripture Union. In other words, I was interested in, you know, in, a, you know, in, in studying the Bible. It's like a Bible study group. And uh, we're very religious. My parents used to go to church with us. But uh, I would say at that time, I was not really, I didn't really under, understand, you know, these things. I was in, it was more to me like a social club. Now, it will be 1980 when I gave my life to, to, to Christ formally. Yes. And before then, in 1975, I had a spiritual encounter when I was, I was taken to heaven. And I spoke to Jesus. I saw heaven with my eyes open. He even brought me to some, some parts of hell. And uh, then I knew that there was something, you know, special about my life. Perhaps God wanted to use me, right. you know, for, for him to give me that kind of, a, kind of encounter. I believe that uh, I believe there was something uh, uh, God wanted to use me to, to do. Mm. And uh, So when I gave my life to Christ in 1980, I, I got a Holy Ghost baptism. I had this, the, the Holy, Holy Spirit baptism mm -hmm. in the same year, mm -hmm. December 25th, when the people were celebrating Christmas, I decided to go to a, a camp meeting. Mm -hmm. And so it was at that, that camp meeting that I had, you know, the baptism of the Spirit with evidence of speaking in tongues. Yes. Then something dramatic happened. I yes. found out that uh, anybody I met, it was as if I knew them. Some, as, as if sometimes I knew their names. I knew, I knew how old they were. I I, you know, I just knew things about their background. You mm -hmm. know, just like that. Uh, I, I, I just knew their hometowns. So I, I knew where they were going. You said it was a prophetic gifting. A prophetic a gifting. Mm. You know, you see, in 1980, it wasn't that common. You know, you, you hear about a few prophets here and there. You know, and uh, one person I followed was Ken Hagen. Yes. You know, I love his ministry so oh, much. Yes, he was a prophet definitely. and teacher, wonderful. you know, wonderful teacher, you yes, know, and all that. So uh, we're, we're, we're related. Yeah, oh, oh, <laughs> well, that's wonderful. Oh, we're, okay, we're, we come from the same we, roots. We, we, we love Daddy Hagen. Oh, yeah, Daddy right. Hagen, Daddy yeah. Hagen. God, God bless yeah. him, you know. Mm. And I understand, so I read all his books and... Uh, mm. I did a, a lot of studying of his manuals, you know. I used to attend the Baptist church then at the time. Yes. You know, and then I, I knew that God had called me. I mean, eventually, the Lord spoke to me audibly and said, I've called you to be a prophet. Yes. You know, to your nations, you know. So, but uh, I, of course, I didn't go into a prophetic office immediately. It be another 15 years. But from then, I went to university to study electrical engineering. Well, well prophets don't just fall out of the it, sky. Do they? It correct. takes time. You've got to grow Wonderful. And, and, become, <laughs> sure. and become mature. Exactly. Be exactly. I'm yeah. really interested. I know it's not the topic for tonight, but yeah. just give us a little more detail about the trip to heaven. The, the, yeah. You said you, you, you saw heaven. Yeah, yeah. A little bit more detail. Yeah, yeah actually, what happened was that I was a young boy. I was 15 mm. years. I was mm. in high school, secondary school. Mm. And uh, for some reason, uh, I would get up every night and go to the, you know, the church hall the, the, the school church hall mm. uh, at 12, 12 midnight to pray. Mm. Everybody, the whole school wow. was dead. Everybody was asleep. I don't know why I was doing that, you know. And then wow. I, I kept asking the Lord, if there's a heaven, I want to see it because I read about it. I read about it in the, the scriptures. I want, if, is there, if there's a heaven, show me. Wow. So I was sleeping in my bed one night and it was as if I was chloroform. You know, there's somebody going through an anesthesia in the hospital. And then, boom, I just left my body. I left, you know, I just. I, I, it's, it's sometimes hard to explain some of these things. Yeah. And then I saw that I was somewhere, and just in the background was like a, a city made of light. All the pillars were made of light. Wow. And then I found myself speaking to Jesus. Mm. I was asking questions, mm. you know, certain questions, and then he would give me an answer. And I remember clearly he said one thing. He said, when you go back to the earth, refer to my word in John 14, 6, that says, I'm the only way, the truth, and the life. Amen. No one cometh to the Father except through me. Praise then God. I found out I, I, came back, I, I came back to myself. You yeah. know, then, then I became more zealous about the things of God. Amen. But it was in 1980 when I really, you know, committed, my, 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 you know, formally I would say, mm. you know, got born again and everything and I uh, wept, uh, uh, look, uh, my past and everything came before me. And then the Lord started showing me things, you know, I, I just knew things. I, will, I, I remember I went to some, a, a, a house, I don't know, the, I just said, 
I, I, I see arm robbers come to this house, you know, next week Friday. And, they, and next week Friday come, they were there. You know, and stuff like that. And right. it went on and on. Yes. But then eventually the Lord showed me that he had called me as a prophet, you mm -hmm. know. In, uh, you know and, and so I went to university straight after that to study a degree in engineering, which I finished in 1987. And then uh, I kept studying, you know, and training. Until 1993, I had a job in the U.S. as a research engineer. And then when I, I, I got a job, shortly after the Lord told me to, to, to resign, to leave the job yes. and go into full-time ministry. So yes. right from 1993, and I've never actually worked as an engineer. I've been preaching the gospel and, uh, you know, mentoring, you know, leaders. I've traveled to so many nations, South Africa, Africa, coast, all over the place, you know, been to a lot of the states in the United States. And my call is to raise, raise leaders, you know, yes. mentor prophets, young prophets who are coming up. You know, and so now the Lord is asking to start a Bible college, which I, we actually did overseas for the year 2000, and yes. now we'll start here as well, and it's really growing. So, so from my notes, I can see that you, you have three uh, uh, sides to your ministry. That's correct. Now, if, if I'm, correct me if I'm wrong, I believe it's Rama Bible College. Rama Bible College. Uh, Rama Prophetic Ministries, That's right. which I'm very interested yep. in, and Rama Chapel International. That's correct. Just break us down a little bit. Tell us a bit about the three. Okay, um... Like, like, I believe my call is that of an apostolic prophet. I'm an apostle and a prophet, you know. And I have a teaching gift as well. You know, really, I studied theology up to doctoral level in the United States, you know, from uh, the bachelor's, the master's, and, and, and the doctorate. You know, so um, the Bible College is the, is, is, the, is, is the base for training, equipping pastors and, 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 and Christians. It's not just for pastors. So people, people have this mentality that you only have to go to Bible school on, on, if you are going to be a pastor. Yes. But that is not true. Look, we, 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 we watch people on TV, we, 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 we read books, you know, people come up on, you know, through the media and they teach and they preach. We need to have discrimination. We want to be able to check to see whether those things they are saying are true, they're correct, they're true to the Word of God. Yeah. I mean, I look at what Paul says concerning the Berean Christians in Acts 17. He said the Berean Christians were more noble than those in Tess Thessalonica, mm -hmm. you know, you know in, in, in the other place, mm -hmm. you know, what do you call it, uh, uh, Thessalonica. Yes. He said yes. because after Paul had preached, they went home and checked the scriptures to be sure whether those things were so. Yes. I mean, look at how great uh, the Apostle Paul was. You know, I mean, the, one of the preeminent apostles in the, in the New Testament, you know, apostles of the Gentiles. Mm. But yet when he taught, the people had to go and check. Mm. You know, what am I saying? Today we have people all over the place preaching and, uh, you know, some are not properly groomed, they're not well trained, they have a gift all right, but then they won't wait to be properly, you know, formed spiritually and then they step out. Equipping the saints is my priority. And I, I believe that it, it, that is what every minister should, should be out there doing right now. Mm. Because, you know, there's so much error in the system now, mm. all over the place. Jesus said in Matthew 24, he said, get into end, end time, many false prophets will arise, yes. and they will deceive many. Mm. And we're already seeing that right now. So, Raman Bible College is our training base. Mm. You know, we, 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 we want to train, educate all, uh, I mean, all types of leaders or up-and-coming pastors, every Christian who wants to have a solid biblical training to be able to check out what people say, you know, it, it, you know, it's welcome to come to Roma Bible College. Amen. Then w we run degrees, you know, up to doctorate right now. We have from the, from scratch, we have certificate in Bible and theology. We have diploma in Bible and theology. Well, let, let, let me, let me, before you go through the list of what you do, let me yeah. just ask you how somebody's watching right now and they want to uh, study, uh, go to Bible College.